this next work um, proved to be one of the great challenges for us in preparation for this tour. It also ended up, I would say, along with Abby's piece, being two of the most significantly uh, impactful pieces we shared with our audiences. David Conti is a San Francisco-based composer. He's a professor of music at uh, San Francisco Conservatory, and it was an honor to be able to share this piece with him about 10 days ago when we sang at St. Ignatius Church in San Francisco. I will simply tell you, he came to the warm-up rehearsal and we sang the whole piece, and he was in tears. And then at, after the performance, I brought him up to the stage, he was in tears again. And I've known David over 20 years, and he's not necessarily the crying type. But he was very generous in an email the next day saying that rarely, if ever, he's heard his music performed not only with such technical artistry, but with such passion and commitment. This text um, was initially the thing. He shared several scores with me. We had recorded his music back in the 90, uh, 1990s. And he shared some scores with me, and this one caught my attention. John Sterling Walker, who is the text writer, was a person uh, who spent a lot of his years working to bring people together from opposite ends of whether it was their religious beliefs or their political beliefs, trying to bring them to a point of unity. He was greatly inspired by the work and the life and the writings of Martin Luther King Jr. At one point, he and his wife traveled to Norway to work with dis developmentally disabled uh, youth and adults. And there saw another picture of people marginalized by society. But it was especially the writings of Dr. King while he was in a Birmingham jail that, that really was the inspiration for this text. Uh, a text set in metaphor, using color. And I want to read to you part of David's note and then part of the text itself. Uh, David Conti writes, in the homecoming, the speaker is a soul who is restless and angry that the justice Dr. King dreamed of has yet not come to pass. This soul is speaking to Dr. King, who I envisioned as continuing to reside in a kind of spiritual jail because people are not listening to his message. The speaker is addressing Dr. King to inspire him and to affirm that he will be home when people stop ignoring what he said. We always think of, especially during African American History Month and, this, and the holiday that celebrates his birth, we think of his work for racial uh, justice. But if you go back and you read Martin Luther King Jr. and you see what he stood for, and if you especially remember those last three or four years of his life when he was one of the first people to oppose the war in Vietnam, when he was in solidarity with migrant workers in California, when he was lifting up women who were not being cared for in our society, this is a man who stood to wipe out injustice wherever it came in our society. And at one point, this poet captures in just incredible terminology. He talks about color it, color where in jail you're on fire. And later it says colored with azure, colored with verdure, color it with ardor. Color it with apocalyptic purity. Apocalyptic purity, people. You know what that looks like? You may hear it in sound. With white for the wombs of the mothers, make them shine. And Christine, I caught one typo we didn't catch. You and Bob and I did not catch. It should say instead with the slave, with the salve of the babes who called them home. The babes from whose mouth shall pour forth the words that quench the fire and set you free and call you home. But this is not just about Dr. King being at home. It's about all of us being at home. One of the great things about being part of the St. Olaf community, while we have different points of view in this community, I think we seek to be people of the light, people who bring justice and mercy and truth in this world so that no one is ever held down in bondage in this world because of their race their ethnicity, their gender, their religious credo, their socioeconomic condition, their sexual orientation, their political beliefs. Only when we are all free to truly be God's children 
Can our light shine? And can we all be at home? Here are these prophetic words in a stunning musical setting by David Conti, The Homecoming. <laughs> 